Was Kong Skull Island a good movie? Guess we'll discuss that today. Hey guys, what's going on? So we're back again with another video. In today's video, we are going to do our movie review over Kong Skull Island. So this is my cousin Caleb right here. Hi guys. And so with this movie review, what we're going to do is I'm going to go through my likes and my dislikes. Then he's going to go through his likes and dislikes. Then he's going to do what he thinks the future holds for Kong. And then I will give the movie a rating, you know, out of 10. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. So, with my likes and dislikes, um, first off, I'll start with the dislikes. So, the thing that I disliked about Kong Skull Island was poor character development. I think they could have given the characters a little bit more of a backstory. Obviously not too much because it's that would make it a lot longer of a movie. But if we could just get a little bit of something, not, oh, here's the reporter, here's this person, here's that, you know. They could have done a little bit better with that. Um, yeah, so my other dislike with the movie is that I wish there was a little bit more action with it. And, like, the build-up for Kong facing the queen, skull crusher, whatever. And there should have been where he faced, like, an army of the miniature ones, not just, you know, fight one or two and then go right into facing the queen. There should have been a little bit more of a build up to facing the queen instead of basically jumping right into it. Now with my likes, well overall I just thought it was a good movie. I enjoyed watching it. Um, they did a really good job with making Kong look strong against the queen and really throughout the whole movie, like you had all the uh, helicopters going by and they were shooting at Kong and all that and he just kind of had a little bit of a blood spot and he just kind of wiped it off and kept going. So it was nice to see how strong they made Kong look. And then also the storyline overall, I enjoyed it. There was a little bit of dislike with some parts of it, but overall I thought they just did a really good storyline with it. All right. All right, so I'm going to do my dislikes first. Um, I'll say I don't really have much dislikes about the movie. Um, I would say just um, a little bit more fighting scenes, mm -hmm. I would have said. Um, I mean, just like what he touched based on, maybe more of the Skull Crushers, maybe instead of two of them, maybe do like a little bit bigger army and made it a little bit longer fighting scene between Kong and them, and then added the Queen. Um, and then I would have said, mm, I don't really have much dislikes on the movie. Um, I think that'd be my only dislike. Uh, maybe a little bit more different creatures. I know they had like a spider and stuff. They should have maybe done a little bit more. Um, other than that, I really don't have any other dislikes. Um, my likes about the movie, um, characters were great. They picked a lot of good actors and actresses for the movie. Um, Kong had a lot of good screening time, which I thought that was great. That's one thing I did like about that. But um, I would say mm, it was different from all the other King Kong movies. I hate that they just keep making the same thing over and over and over again, where, you know, they capture him, he comes to the city, he dies on the building, blah, 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 blah. I think that's, I'm so glad they went a different route um, with that. And, um, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much mine. Okay. So what about the future? Uh, the future, that is a very good question. Um, I would say, because you know we're supposed to get Godzilla vs. King Kong in 2020, which I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I would say, I don't think anyone's going to win in that movie, to be honest. So I think Kong will, obviously, I think he's going to have his own movie after the Godzilla vs. Kong. I don't think either of them's gonna die. So I'm ready to see how it holds up and hopefully um, I'd like to see them bring back a lot of the actors. Uh, Tom Hiddleston, I'd like to see him back. Um, I think he's, he done really good in this movie so I'd like to see him in the second one or if he's in King Kong vs. Godzilla, I'd be so happy of that. So, okay. so yeah. All right, I'll go ahead with uh, my rating of the movie. Now, I'm not gonna go too high with the number not because I didn't like the movie it's just that you know I don't want to go too high and have a lot of people you know say oh it should have been lower or oh you know it should have been higher so I'm just gonna go with kind of a little bit of a lower number but not too low I'll do some Godzilla movie reviews with him a little bit later so I'll kind of try and base those ones off of this one too just to give you guys a good idea but for overall, I would give this movie probably a 6.5 out of 10, just because, I don't, again, I don't want to go too high. But I really did enjoy the movie. It's just that I think the character development, for me, is the reason why I have it 
below a seven but other than that i really enjoyed the movie and yeah so thank you for joining me in this video no problem can't wait to do godzilla with you yeah definitely so, so i hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment and subscribe foa moa i will see you guys later